Tina has always had a go get em attitude. She's always been my Lucille Ball that goes after everything that she wants. She's always been active and healthy. Well, my daughter growing up was the joy of our lives. She would do so many things that I didn't think a kid could do. Tina is kind of this energy in the universe that everything is attracted to, not just myself, but everybody, everything, she just has this way about her, this light about her. It's that full speed ahead attitude that she has about everything. So we are a very active family. Anything active and just a little out of our comfort zone is what we're looking for. My life pre-baby and pre-heart condition was pretty normal. I, I had a healthy heart, I had a normal life, full-time job, just got married. When I found out I was pregnant, I was super excited. I couldn't wait to tell Brian. We've been trying only for a couple of months and it happened really quickly. When she told me, I was kind of frustrated with her because she wanted to tell me in a special place, which is up at Snowbird where we had our first kiss. I did not want to leave and go up to Snowbird that particular day, having no idea whatsoever. And I was getting a hand gesture of exactly why he was mad at me, and then he just stopped everything as soon as he heard the good news and started crying, and we just had this most beautiful moment up at Snowbird, celebrating the fact that we were pregnant. So the first nine months, basically, of my pregnancy was great. I was active. You know, life didn't change too much for me. We didn't see any issues that, you know, we had no idea what was about to hit us. The day that Hannah was born, it was a Tuesday, uh, February 17th, 2004. They noticed my blood pressure was really, really high. So they rushed me in to have an emergency C-section. And while I was in there, I had lost a lot of blood and they started giving me extra fluids to help compensate for the, for the loss. It was an amazing day, amazing day. Everything was great. In fact, both Tina and I's first memory of Hannah is her little face screaming away, you know. The first few days after everything, Nobody really knew what was going on. We knew something was going on. Um, and we were in the hospital for about a week and they were, they were confused as well. But then it wasn't until we went home a week later that we had the symptom that kind of, I think, gave, gave everybody the idea of what was going on. I went down to sleep. I went to lay down and I couldn't breathe. I could not get anything in my lungs. And we knew something was wrong. Obviously, the big fear, you know. It's supposed to be, you know, the birth of your daughter. It's supposed to be the most exciting time of your life. <laughs> and you find out she's going into heart failure. And it's a, it's a difficult thing to deal with. And it was terrifying. It was absolutely terrifying because you can't control it, you can't stop it, and you, all you're thinking of is your newborn. But there's also that certain part of you that's like, okay, let's, let's figure it out, you know? She's extremely tough. It ended up being given a prescription medication that later we found out was actually funded and all the research was conducted by American Heart Association. Basically, it did save my life. It saved my life, it saved my family. It completely saved my family. There was definitely a, a, a positive, a, a silver lining throughout the whole thing. And that was the addition of Zoe, our youngest daughter, uh, who was adopted, that taking a chance on a second pregnancy was just not the, not gonna work for us. I mean, the, the, the risk was too great. I love you, Mom. Thanks for giving me a really good life. Love you. I love everything about my mom. She helps me in so many different ways and she loves me so much, and it's just a good feeling to have. Tina, you know, I love you. I'm glad that we've gone through this together. It was horrible at the time. Uh, you may not feel that you're glad that you went through it, but I, I honestly, I think in the long run, I think it made us better people. I think it brought us closer together as a husband and wife, and it brought us closer together as a family, and it made us better people, it really did. Keep being who you are, full speed ahead, and. I'll keep doing the best I can to keep up with you. I love you.